I, I understand that you, you're a cancer survivor. Cancer fighter. It's not passive, it's, it's, it's active. Being a cancer patient is a hard job, I can tell you. The most difficult time is when a treatment is seized and they tell you, now you just need to wait. What do you do from now? You have to wait. Wait for what? So I decided during that time that both me and an amazing team of researchers in my lab, we can develop technologies that will allow better treatment and a better diagnosis of uh, cancer and many other diseases. Conquering cancer is one of the most pressing challenges facing medicine and science in general. Conquering cancer requires an interdisciplinary approach. We need the collaboration of basic scientists, we need the biochemists, the cell biologists, a computer scientist, experts in microscopy, in imaging. We need the engineers and we need the clinicians who see the patients, who treat the patients and can use the new devices that are designed by the engineers or envisioned by the scientists. We have all components needed to build a world-class integrated cancer research center. TICC stands for Technion Integrated Cancer Center, which is the first comprehensive cancer center in Israel that integrates medicine, basic science and oncology. We have here an opportunity to advance therapy for patients as part of personalized medicine, we hope to establish new standards here in Israel and around the world. The future of cancer research relies on the combination of excellent basic, translational, and clinical research. And that is why the new Technion Cancer Research Center was initiated by the Technion Faculty of Medicine. I am a pediatric oncologist and I treat children with cancer from all the north of the country. 20 or 30 years ago, we were able to cure about 60% of children with cancer. During the last years, we developed deep collaboration with the Technion, especially in angiogenesis and immunotherapy, in the aim to increase the percent of cure of children with cancer. And now we are really able to cure more than 80%. And I really do hope that with the collaboration with the TICC, we will be able to cure really almost all the children with cancer. I think in the next 10 years ahead of us, cancer is going to undergo a major transformation in treatment, in prevention, and this collaboration that is going to be here in this campus, which really ties basic research and clinical research together, is going to be a source of major development for the future. I will never forget the reception held by the Israeli ambassador in 2004 in his house to Professor Hershko and Professor Chekanover, who won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of the ubiquitin. The guest of honor was the first patient in Sweden treated by Velcade, a medication developed based on the discovery of the ubiquitin to treat multiple myeloma, a very nasty type of cancer. This was an incredible emotional event that demonstrated why basic research is needed to treat cancer. Countless of people around the world benefited from the basic research of Hershko and Chikanover and uh, are living now thanks to this discovery. Basic research in the Technion Integrated Cancer Research Center will provide such breakthroughs. we are going to win this battle. It's not going to be one day that we shall wake up and find that the New York Times or, or The Guardian or any other newspaper saying cancer has gone forever. No, it will not be like that. It will be that one disease will be defeated and another disease will be defeated. But from one disease, we are going to learn of the complexity of the other. So from brain, we shall learn about the pancreas, from pancreas about the liver. So there will be lessons learned and the process will be expedited and accelerated. And at the end, I truly hope, I almost feel that we are going to live in a cancer-free world.